What's going on YouTube? It's Drew with Profit Monsters coming back at you with another Goodwill Outlet haul video. I am so obsessed with the bins, I can't stop going. I'm getting so much stuff. This weekend we had a great weekend full of sales. So, uh, you know, I decided to go back to the bins and pick up some more stuff. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Let's jump right into it. First up, we got this Reebok uh, baseball glove right here. I looked up this model, it's the VT6000. And uh, these are selling for like almost 60 bucks. So I'm gonna clean this one up a little bit, make it look a little newer, and I paid 99 cents for it. Next we have this Yankees baseball clock. It's an actual baseball with a clock built into it. And I only found one comp for 99 cents. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna probably run this as an auction and see what I can get for it, but I paid 99 cents. I don't forget the I got these Minnie Mouse shoes. They are from Disney Paris, uh, Disneyland Paris. They're a little dirty, but I mean, I can clean them up. I have done pretty good with shoes. So I'll probably be able to get 20, 25 bucks for these. I got this Hummer Roadside Assistance uh, Snapback. It's not that great of um, a hat. There's no tag on it, but I think people that like Hummer, you never know. So super cheap by weight I also got this little bird brooch I'll bring it a little closer here I don't even know why I picked this up but I saw it um in the bins and I just thought it looked really old so I figured I would take a chance at it it basically was 99 cents again so um it's worth it for me to take a chance at that price and last I got a Pirates of the Caribbean hat this is Disney uh right here Disney tag on the inside and the pirate skull it's one of those like cat hats I don't know how to describe it uh, but I should be able to sell this pretty quick I also got this Furby I paid 99 cents for this and uh, they're showing comps anywhere from 15 to 30 bucks so I figured I'd put batteries in it test it out and hopefully list it high then I also picked up this Sega Saturn um, remote control thing here um, I paid a dollar 99 for this and the comps are kind of all over the place. Some of them as low as like $18 and some as as high as 80. So I figured it was worth it. And uh, I just don't have any way of testing it. So I might be on the lower end of the comps. All right, let's jump into some clothing. First up, we got this Seattle Mariners jersey right here. Really nice size. This is a XL or this is a large, but it fits like an XL. So uh, it says DJ on the back. That is uh, a player, I forget his last name, but it's DJ Tiller or some, something like that. Anyway, I should be able to do pretty good on that one, probably about 30 bucks. I got this Nutmeg Tag Vintage Oakland Athletics, uh, Oakland A's jersey, or not jersey, a shirt here. And uh, this one's just got a really cool graphic on it. It's in super good condition, single stitch. I love picking up vintage clothing. It's an easy $20 shirt. This is a Star Wars new with tag shirt, Empire Strikes Back. Uh, the new Star Wars is coming out soon, so I figured this was a good little pickup, and the tag still had the $20, $22 price tag on it, so this should be a good 15 to 18 bucks. Good size as well. This is probably one of my favorite shirts of the day that I picked up, this really cool Daytona 500 shirt. This one uh, is from 1995, and it's got a really nice graphic, big in the back. And then it's just got the, uh, it says, feel the thunder on the front. It's just got the car right there. Just a really cool graphic. Single stitch, again, vintage. Um, and this is a large as well. So um, anything vintage right now, I'm picking up all day. I like that jersey and a Star Wars shirt. Yeah, me too. Picked up a couple of jerseys today. These are just basic, you know, staple items. Football season's about to start. These are all 18 to $30 jerseys. So a couple Chicago Bears jerseys right here. This one's uh, T. Harris. And uh, they're a little faded, so they'll probably go on the lower side, like 20 to 30, but some of them are selling as high as 40. So uh, this is Rex Grossman right here. And uh, this, is, this one's in the best shape of all the football jerseys I got. Here is a O'Neal uh, board shorts. I normally don't pick up stuff like this, but I absolutely love the graphic on the side right here. It's like a wizard holding a surfer in a crystal ball type of thing. 
and the color wave is just really nice and uh, they're in really good shape. You got the O'Neill printed on here in purple. So I figured I'll list these high, 30 bucks. Uh, this is just a classic pickup item for me, Nike dry fit tank tops. This is a women's one with the built-in bra and these are 15 to $20 all day. This is another thing that I don't normally pick up, but because um, it's not old, but this is a Carrie Underwood uh, band shirt or tour, tour shirt, the Blown Away Tour. These are selling for like 15 bucks. I mean, when you're paying 50 cents for a shirt, a $15 sale is a great return. This was a cool item. I don't know why I picked this up because it was a weird shape. I mean, look how wide it is, but it was this vintage tie-dye shirt um, with single stitch right here. And the tag said, Sun dog, um, and I've never even heard of that, so I don't know. So I don't know why I even picked this up, but it's single stitch, and I really liked the tie dye. This will probably be like a 15, 10, 15 dollar shirt. Um, I kind of slowed down picking up Tommy Hilfiger because it's been really slow, but I picked this one up because it's new with tags and it had a 30 dollar price tag on the shirt. So I figured a 15 dollar sale on a brand new Tommy Hilfiger, and the yellow is really nice. I might be able to sell this one pretty quick. Uh, this is just a really good pickup right here. It's a $20 shirt, probably. This is a Carhartt, uh, just a basic tee, but it's 2XL, so it's a really good size. It almost looks like it's never been worn, so this is a great little pickup. Next is a Guy Harvey new with tag shirt. Again, I stopped picking up a lot of Guy Harvey, but when there's new with tags and it's got a $30 price tag on it, I'm going to pick it up all day and try to resell it. Here is a Russell Brand Miami Hurricane shirt. This is just a really nice one. Not vintage, uh, not single stitch, but just a good size XL and it's got a really nice logo on it. So here is a vintage 1991 Florida Marlins shirt. This one should do pretty good. Um, this is single stitch and it's on Toltex, which is really nice. And uh, it's just, again, I'm picking up good sizes here, guys. Large, XL, 2XL. Those are all good sizes to pick up and list. Um, they'll sell a lot quicker than like smalls and extra smalls. Yeah, I gotta go to the jackets. This was probably my best pickup of the day, this Under Armour Storm jacket. This thing is in like pristine condition. I have no idea why this got thrown away, but uh, it just has the Under Armour logo right there on the back. And this is a medium, it's my size. If I can't sell it, I'll keep it for winter. This is a great jacket and uh, there's no rips or tears. This is 50, 60 bucks all day. I like this jacket. Yeah, this is a vintage LL Bean jacket. This is a small um, with the nice color on the inside with the green fleece. So this is like what they call like the berry uh, jackets, I guess, or something like that because of the colors. So blueberry or I don't know, something like that. But LL Bean is a really good brand. That is a blueberry. Yeah. This is a new one for me. Um, I've never heard of this brand, but this is why I love this business in this industry because I looked it up and I'm seeing comps of about 30 bucks for the sweater. It's called uh, Faken Nabel, Faken Nobel. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong, if you know what this is, but it's definitely older. Check this out. Okay, so there's the tag and then the logo is like this little duck bird i think it's a golf brand but i'm not 100 percent sure but anyway the comps were showing about 30 bucks on it so and it's a good size again xl so i should be able to sell that quick how does this baseball work i got this air force sweatshirt right here i've already sold a couple of these um and this one i believe is an actual military uh air force sweatshirt not like a reprint or something from h&m or you know one of those types of companies that literally says air force on the tag um, these are 25 to 30 dollars all day if they're legitimate so and this is definitely older so i should be able to get 25 bucks for that and then another one of my favorite finds of the day and this is my last one guys is this snoopy sweatshirt these are older from like the 80s and the 90s it says raw r-a-h on it and it's got snoopy holding the raw flag um, the comps on these are kind of interesting because they're not really showing a lot of solds but there's a lot of listed for 60 50 bucks so i figured i could list mine for 30 or 40 and uh 
probably make a sale, but I didn't see this color on there. So maybe this is like Miami Hurricanes color. So maybe someone will buy this and wear it to a Hurricanes game or something. Anyway, that's about it for this haul, guys. I'll, all in all, I spent about 35 bucks on everything. And I should be able to make that money back on literally one of these items or less. So uh, make sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoy these Goodwill hauls. And I'll keep doing them every time I go to the outlets before I do my listings. And make sure to subscribe to the Profit Monsters family if you're not already subscribed, right? Yeah. Give me a high five. We will see you in the next video. Peace money!